Hey there, Pastor Omar here at EFC, and I am excited today to talk with Jenny Lang. Jenny Lang is one of our mission partners here at church. She is with Family Life Ministries, which is a part of Campus Crusade. And so we're just excited. I'm excited to get a, a conversation with her and to talk a little bit about what's been going on with her life, with her ministry, with her family. And like I said, she's with Crew, one of our mission partners here. And we just want to talk a little bit about that. So Jenny, can you tell us a little bit about what's this, the la latter half of 2022, it's been like for you in ministry and also with your family? Oh, well, thank you. It's so fun yeah. to be with you and to be able to share a little bit about what I've been working on with family life. It's been super exciting. I feel so blessed and privileged yeah. to be a part of uh, this ministry right now and what they're mm -hmm. doing and the new ways that they're trying to really go and have a local presence mm -hmm. and really teaching families how to disciple other families and how to uh, encourage those families to know Jesus. Yeah. Um, so that's really exciting. So one of the ways that I've been able to do that is they have asked me to rewrite their um, volunteer and new staff curriculum. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I know it's been that's a, a lot. huge <laughs> undertaking. It's taken me a year to write it. Wow. Uh, and then now we are in the training and testing phase. So that's been super exciting. Uh, and we're hoping for it to go live here okay. in the next six months or so, get up online and yeah. uh, use it to, to multiply uh, other families to be sure. able to have normal conversations with yeah. their neighbors, uh, with you know uh, kids that their families mm -hmm. go to school with, just to be able to be a presence for Jesus. You yeah. know, oftentimes when we do evangelism, it can be very event focused, sure. right? We go someplace to share the gospel, but we what we want to teach people is how to be throwing those gospel mm -hmm. seeds constantly to engage people in spiritual conversations where they live, work, and play. Yeah. So yeah. that our our vision statement is that every home is a godly home. So I'm developing training to be able yeah. to do that and uh, would love to share that with y'all once it's uh, yeah. live. I will definitely yeah. do that. That's awesome. So, yeah, so that's been really fun. Um, I will continue to write the next phase of that curriculum over okay. the next year, okay. um, which uh, will be really, really fun. Um, not as much of the mobilizing, but more of the spiritual development okay. side sure. for people. How do I walk with the Lord? Yeah. How do I have a personal relationship with Him? How do I know what my giftings are? Mm. Um, looking a lot at what it means to be an image bearer, sure. uh, to represent the Imago Dei. And yeah. so uh, we're really excited about the next phase of, of writing. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you for sharing a little bit of that. Sounds really exciting. Um, so that's what you've been doing this 2022. It sounds like a huge undertaking. Yeah. So as you look at 2023, you mentioned part of what you will be doing is that. Is there anything else that uh, you want to share with our church that you will be doing? Uh, in 2023 anything you're looking forward yeah. to ministry family family life as well just kind of a little bit about how things are going with yeah. your family too so so uh so i was uh, telling omar that one of the things we're really excited about is uh, launching a family mission trip uh, global missions uh, yeah. section or a part of our family life mission so uh, i work on a team that uh, we send people to places all over the world next year i think we have a trip okay. going to dominica and we have a uh a, a, a vision trip, like learning, yeah. like yeah. giving uh, sight uh, sure. screenings yeah. to people uh, in, I mean, think, Vietnam and, wow. um, and other places in South Asia. Yeah. Um, we have some local opportunities in El Paso and, um, and we're adding more things. Okay. So we're really excited about being able to partner with families mm -hmm. and, and teach them uh, as they go abroad how to share the gospel so when they sure. come home uh, they can do that in their everyday life yeah. not just again we, we love the event opportunity we love to go share the gospel but we want it to become a lifestyle yeah. and so this is part of the training towards that so i'm yeah. super excited about that um and then i mean writing takes so much time <laughs> holy cow and sure editing yeah. and design all and so stuff, yeah. all that stuff so i really think the majority of my of mm -hmm. my time will be focused on that and then i'm i'm a little bit of what i call a player coach okay so i'll develop the material and then i'll try it in my neighborhood or, sure yeah um so sense. one of the really fun things that we've been able to do is I uh, had some coworkers come into town and just do some neighboring ministry. Okay. And we had the most amazing conversations about who God is. Yeah, and yeah. we were sitting around my table after we'd made a big meal of pasta, sure. and, you know, with some of our neighbors that I've been trying to develop spiritual yeah. relationships with for quite some time. And, um, and they were, they were sitting there like, how do you guys know each other? Like, what, what is this connection yeah. you have? And he's like, I've been watching you all night. He's like, there is a love here that wow. I, 
I, he's like, you can see it. You guys yeah. are just like, you don't even have to communicate. It's like, you know what the other's thinking. And we were able to share, you know, it's our connection in faith. And, yeah. and we asked him some various questions and we were talking about what is church. And, mm -hmm. and he's like, to me, and, and he's Muslim from Turkey. Wow. And he's like, to me, he's like, if I were to say what church is, this is church this is sitting church. around the table. Wow. And we actually had wow. just come from a conference where our theme was um, uh, around the table yeah. and being invited to yeah. the table. And so we were able to share with him, you know, so often Christians get a bad rap for the things that they're against instead yeah. of the things that they're for. And so we were able right. to say, this is what we want to be about is yeah. giving people opportunity to explore yeah. their faith and, and what it means to know uh, a God yeah. um, who is uh, Emmanuel Christ with us yes. and what that means. And so it was a wonderful evening and we probably yeah. talked about things of faith for like an hour. Wow. I know it was really wonderful. So those are the kind of things sure. we want to empower and uh, train local uh, people to do yeah. uh, in their neighborhoods yeah. and wherever wow. God leads them so that we can have somebody, everyone knows somebody who truly follows Jesus. Yeah. Wow. yeah. In the family space. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, thank you for sharing a little bit about that and sharing that story. That's I think very powerful. That is the church. That Sitting is around the church. and talking spiritual conversations and just being with people. So that's that's cool. Yeah. Thanks, Jenny, for sharing a little bit about that. Now, can you tell us, uh, how can we be praying for you here in yes. 2023? How can we keep up to date also as yeah. well for those in our congregation who may not get any updates from you? Is right. there anywhere you want to point them to to get any updates from what you're doing throughout the year? Or just any prayer requests as well going forward. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Um, yeah, you can just continue to pray for our family. Mm -hmm. You know, we have an eight and nine-year-old yeah. little boys, uh, and that's been... Um, it's, you know, yeah. a lot raising two little <laughs> boys. And so uh, just trying to balance that yeah. and working and, and Ken's new role. Sure. Um, he has really been blessed with a wonderful yeah. position as a psychiatric physician assistant. And so, um, but it's been slow building his mm -hmm. his uh, patient base. And sure. so you can just pray that God would continue to, to do that. And yeah. Um, yeah, and just that we would we would walk closely with them. I mean, sure. if, if the the one thing you pray for me is that I love Jesus, that would be the best thing you could ever pray awesome. for me because that will help me love my kids. Yeah. That will help me love my husband. That will help me be the woman that God has created me to be. Yeah. So pray that I would walk closely with the Lord and, and listen to his voice. That's one of the my words for the year. I don't know. Some people have words yeah, for the year. That's great. Uh, and, and mine this year is, is listen. I really want wow. to learn to listen to the Holy Spirit and just follow his leading in, in the in the things that he has for yeah. me as I continue to um, to figure out like Lord how do you want to use me sure. uh, in in this season of my life yeah yeah so awesome very exciting stuff you know just trusting God like yeah. everybody else yes. we all got to do it right walk yes. by faith not by sight that's right yeah so well thank you Jenny I appreciate that um, if you're interested in learning more about Jenny's ministry you can also email me at omar a at efreebn.org and I would love to connect you with Jenny and to get some uh, some of the, the letters that you send yes. out monthly based on what's going on in your ministry. And so. if you would like to um, receive our newsletter that we send out monthly, you can email me at jenny.lang, L-A-N-G, at familylife, all one word, dot com. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Thank so. you so much, Jenny. We really appreciate you being here. Yeah, so yeah. good to be with you guys. Thanks for listening to my update. It's really fun to fill y'all in and, and to have you be a part of what I'm doing because literally thousands of people are learning how to yeah. uh, express the gospel. There's 65,000 people that go to a Weekend to Remember conference, yeah. which is one of the things that we do. And our goal is to mobilize those 65,000 yeah. attendees to, to share sure. their faith. And yeah. so that's what we want to do. Awesome. Exciting. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. Be blessed.